our plan. I'll give you uh, some time for uh, to to review the reader questions. Okay, so uh, Gulf, all students except Bhavans start from the uh, application of trigonometry from page ninety eight, example one. Example one. Now you write the question because this chapter is coming for for all. Okay. Yeah, I I I I, I got it, Divan. Listen, listen this what I'm telling you now. Okay. You work out all reader questions. Okay. Uh, uh, not only write the question, just finish it. But anyone finish today uh, earlier, so I'll start the immediately the extra questions. So I start from example one onwards. Example one, then finish all examples uh, plus. Okay. So listen, I'm telling. Uh, take the reader, page number one ninety eight. Example onwards. First, we'll check the reader. I don't want to directly go to the extra questions. Okay. Uh, so first, finish the reader. Okay. Bowens, take the reader. Uh, your coordinate geometry questions. Kevin, clear or not? Okay. So only okay, only your selected uh, portions only. Coordinate geometry area not there. Okay. Here, application trigonometry everything is there. Nothing deleted. Okay. So only thing you have to remember uh, angle of elevation and angle of depression. Angle of elevation means from bottom to top. Angle of depression means from top to bottom. Okay. So now start first examples. Example one, example two, example three, example four, uh, example five, six, seven. Then exercise questions. Okay, I hope you can finish it within one hour. After that, I'll start the extra questions. Okay, start now. So the examples from the chapter uh, applications of trigonometry. Yes, application uh, uh, applications of uh, GIS and uh, the face of this coming test application. Correct or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, remaining chapter uh, GIS students, I'll do the Friday uh, extra classes. Okay. Okay, do this one now. So this is the last chance you're really checking uh, the application of trigonometry. Already we did this question here. Okay, start now. So in case you're not getting, tell me, I'll explain, uh, okay, with the figure. No need to write the question, but the figure must, you have to make, make sure, okay. Okay, start. So speed up, you have to finish it now. Okay.
Okay. So, so test questions uh, today. Test is at eight fifteen. Okay, remember that. Not nine o'clock. Eight fifteen. You have to answer your questions only as per the message. So, first example over or not? Yes, sir. Okay. What yes, about uh, uh, what about Kevin? Uh, Tia, what are you doing, Tia? I'm doing the example, sir. Okay, coordinate geometry, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So you have to, uh, you have to answer only coordinate geometry only today, just. So you don't have doubt, we'll discuss it, okay. So those who miss uh, this chapter, those who we can discuss now. Abhiram, are you getting now? Yes, sir. Uh, Jolson, we are doing application trigonometry first radar questions. So you take the radar, page number 198, example one. After that, not to write the question, example one, example two, till the exercise question. Then you can start exercise question. Exercise question, when you do, after getting the answer, cross check the back answer. Okay. When, when anyone finish, then I'll start the extra work. Okay, so do first.
Anubama, are you getting or not? Anubama. Uh, Ginevesh, which one are you doing? Uh, you're supposed to do uh, coordinate geometry, okay. Nidin, very rich. Nidin, your school which chapter going on? Oh, revision, when is the test? Yeah, uh, your exam when? Now what two? Which, which are the chapters? Why didn't you tell me this all? Which chapter? Only real number only? Okay, tomorrow only setting the way. Okay, then uh, inform me that then I can arrange uh, if any extra chapters that I can arrange. Okay. Mom, Fahad, Muhammad Fahad, getting? Make sure the example, uh, okay, then we, we have to start the extra uh, questions, okay, then extra questions. Yeah. 
Okay. Kalp, getting it up? Yes, sir. Okay. See, I won't wait for uh, anyone. When you fin anyone finish, I'll directly go to the extra work. So you speed up because I already done this one. All. South Misra, very rich. So far, no doubt. Muhammad Fahad, Sravan, Sravan, no doubt. So far, Vishal, any doubt? No, sir, no doubt. Okay. Shifana, we are doing a, okay, uh, we are doing the uh, application of trigonometry example first. Okay, now doubt, question number four, example four is the doubt. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, example four, I'm doing here. Anyone have doubt? Listen here. Uh, from a point P on the ground, the angle of elevation of the top of a uh, 10 meter high building is 30. Okay. A, a B here, A, then B here. 
Okay, Divansh. From a point P on the ground, the angle of elevation of the top of a 10 meter tall building is 30. This is 10. This angle of elevation is 30. Okay. A flag is hoisted at the top of the building and the angle of elevation is 45 degrees. Okay. Flag is here. This one is 45 degrees. Okay. Then uh, find the length of the flagstaff and distance the building from the point P. Okay. So here is H. This is okay. Now look at here. Tan 45. I took first. Tan 45 is a B C A C divided by A P. So one equal to A C by A P. So A C equal to A P equal to 10 plus H. This also 10 plus H. Then tan 30 equal to 10 by 10 plus H. 1 by root 3 equal to 10 by 10 plus H. 10 plus H equal to 10 root 3. Uh, H equal to 10 root 3 minus 10. Okay, root 3 value is given. Uh, 10 into 1.732 minus 10. 17.32 minus 10. That is 7.32 meter. Okay. So that means uh, height, height is 7.32 meter. And this one, 17.32 meter. Divansh, clear now? Yes, sir. Okay. Now example 6 doubt. Okay. Example 6, those who are doubt, look at here. Uh, the angle of depression, okay. Here, uh, the angle of depression of the top and bottom of an 8 meter tall building from the top of a multi story building 1345. Okay, Sreyas, suppose uh, you're standing on a 10th floor. Okay, you're standing here on the 10th floor. Uh, that is P. I'm, I'm just doing as for the reader. Okay, you're standing on the 10th floor. Then you look at the opposite. Building first floor. First, you're looking at the first floor at an, at an angle of depression is 30 degrees. Then here 45 degrees. This is 30, this is 45. Uh, here A, B. Okay, uh, so yes, situation understood now. Suppose you're starting, you're standing on 10th floor, then you look at the opposite house. Opposite house, first floor. That angle is 30 degrees. Then same building, ground floor, 45 degrees. Okay. And this house is uh, something is given here. Okay. Uh, okay. This is 8 meter. So this also 8. Here also, this is H. Tan 45 equal to 8 plus H by AC. 1 equal to 8 plus H. So this is 8. 8 plus H by AC. So AC equal to 8 plus H. This is 8 plus H. This also 8 plus H. Then you can take tan 30. Tan 30 equal to H divided by 8 plus H. 1 by root 3 equal to H by 8 plus H. 8 plus H equal to H root 3. So H uh, 8 equal to uh, H times root 3 minus 1. H equal to 8 by root 3 minus 1. Hello. Everyone listen. Even the root 3 value is given. Don't substitute here. What do you have to do? Rationalizing 8 into root 3 plus 1 divided by 2. That is 4 into root 3 plus 1. Shreyas, clear now? Okay, so finish it first, then we can start. After that, start exercise question. I'll explain it. What about Kevin, Agnivesh, uh, Tia? Is it okay for you so far? Okay.
You finish all examples, then start exercise question. Don't waste time. Okay. Sir, after the example, we have to do the. Yeah, you finish example, then start the excess question. One all exam, all excess question, and check the back answer. If not matching, tell me. I'll explain it. Okay. Any question not getting? Tell me.
So those who finish all examples, uh, start the exercise question. Kevin and all finish the example, then exercise questions, okay? Ivana, very rich. I'm doing the exercise questions. Okay. Daksh, Dhruv, very rich. Sir, doing the exercise. Revenge. Example seven.
Harsana, which one are you doing now? Hello, Harsana. So I'm doing the exercises. Okay. Are you getting the answer? You check it. Everyone, make sure the answer at the back. Your reader back and the answer is there.
Uh, Aisha, are you getting? Okay, finish, uh, speed up, Janil, uh, very rich. Janil, hello, Janil. You have three. Which question now? Sir, exercise nine point two. Okay. Anaga, which question do you now? So the third question and exercises. Okay, when I got, okay.
So, so no further. Uh, Fahad, no doubt so far? Are you sure? Fahad. Okay. No need to search uh, Google and all. You can ask me if you're not getting. So I'm not getting the third question. Third question of uh, reader, right? Yes, sir. Okay. A contractor plans to install two side uh, two slides for the children to play in the park. Okay. And this lesson. Okay. In, in your heart, doubt question number uh, question number three. Come on. So can you wait for a minute? I'm just doing the question. Let me complete it. Which one are you doing now? So no, no problem. When you when you reach, you can uh, ask. Then no, there's no issue. Okay. So I'll explain this question now. No, sir. I reached it. I'm just doing it. So like, ah, okay. I'm doing the question. Uh, so I want you to wait for two minutes so I can complete okay. it. Question, a contractor plan to install two slides for the children uh, to play in the park. For the children below age of five years, she preferred to have a slide who stop at the height of 1.5 meter and incline at an angle is three meter. Okay. Here, 1.5 meter. This angle is... Uh, This one is 30 degrees. Look, a contractor plans to install two slides for the children to play in a park. For the children below five the age of years, he prefer to have a slide whose top is at a height of 1.5 meter and this incline at an angle of 30 degrees with the ground. Okay, this, this one A, B, C. Then, whereas the older children, she want to have a steep slide at a height of three meter, uh, at a height of three meters. So total height is three meters. So again, 1.5 meter at an angle of elevation is uh, 60 degrees. Okay. So what, what should be the length of slide in each case? Okay. If uh, you finish, uh, understood the figure? 
Hello? I never, I never ma, I never figure out or not. Hello? Okay, so then now we can find out, uh, you have to find this slide. Okay, that is connecting sine 30 equal to 1.5 divided by uh, AC. Sine 30, 1 by 2. 1.5 by AC. So, which implies AC equal to 3 meter. This one is 3 meter. Okay, now second slide is okay. Uh, se second slide is this is this uh, height is 3 meter. Sine 60 equal to 3 divided by uh, A, B, C, D, E, D, E. Sin 60 root 3 by 2 equal to 3 by D. Now you can find out. Okay, find out first. Is it okay clear now, Anubama? Yes, sir. Okay. Hmm. Hello, what is the problem? Uh, exercise nine point uh, play of exercise uh, nine. The eighth question. Eighth question. So up to uh, all you got answer, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, a statue. Okay. Uh, Question number eight, I'm doing here now. Hello, listen. Question number eight. A statue, 1.6 meter tall, stands on a pedestal. Okay, so here, AB, this is the pedestal. 
uh, okay, a statue is here 1.6 meter. Then, from a point on the ground, the angle of elevation of the top and top is 60 degree. From here, 60 degree. Okay. Then, at the same point, angle of elevation top of the pedestal is 45 degree. This one is 45 degree. Okay, A, B, C, D, E. Okay. Then what do you find out? Find the height of, okay, this one, you have, this height you have to find out. So put H. Okay, if it is uh, D, A, B, tan 45, H by this one, this also H. Then tan 60 equal to H plus 1.6 by H. Tan 60 root 3. Root 3 H equal to H plus 1.6. H times root 3 minus 1 equal to 1.6. H equal to 1.6 divided by root 3 minus 1. Rationalizing 1.6 into root 3 plus 1 by 2. That is 0.8 into root 3 plus 1. What the value is given? No, then it keep it here. Clear now? Yes, sir. Okay, listen. Uh, this Just like, uh, like suppose you're standing on the ground. First you look at the opposite house, fifth floor. Then 10th floor. That's the condition. Okay. Now, seventh question. Uh, say yes, your doubt. Okay. Oh, this is just like here. Uh, say yes. Say exactly the same figure. From a point on the ground, angle of elevation, the bottom and top of a transmission tower, a 20 meter high building. Ex exactly the same. Say yes. Why, uh, Muhammad Faisal, you asked me question number eight. If you if you get seven, uh, sure you'll get seven and eight. Same question only. Sir, it was calculations I was having uh, okay, okay, okay. with the concept. Okay. Uh, Say so yes. Okay. Now same figure only.
Okay. So finish it first, then uh, I have to start the extra work. And where we reach now? And so I'm doing the sixth question. Okay. So 13, uh, 15 questions, that's the speed up. Are you sure this all you're getting? Uh, 
because other batch every question I, I explained here. This sure are you getting now? Head. So. So. Yeah. Can you do the tenth question? Question number ten. Okay. So up to here, no doubt, right? Sure, no. Yes, sir. All matching the answer. Okay. Question number ten. Look at here. Two pole of equal height. Listen. Here, the ground, two pole A, B, C, D. H here, H here. Okay. Two pole of equal height standing on each side. Okay, which is 80 meter wide. If from a point between on them, the angle of elevation of the two pole, 60 degree and 30. Okay, take a point here, suppose uh, P. From here, this pole is 30 degree. This pole is 60 degree. Okay. Then find the height of each pole and distance. This is the figure. Figure okay or not? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, okay, this is x. This is 80 minus x. Y total is 80 meter, right? Agree or not? Yes, sir. Okay. Now tan 30 equal to h by x. 1 by root 3 equal to h by x, x equal to h root 3, call it number 1. Tan 60 equal to h divided by 80 minus x. Tan 60 root 3 into 80 minus x equal to h. Okay, you can substitute x here. Root 3 into 80 minus x is h root 3 equal to h. So that is 80 root 3 minus 3h, h root 3 root 3, 3h equal to h. So 80 root 3 equal to 4h, h equal to 20 root 3. The height is 20 root 3. It's clear or not? No? Yes, sir. Okay. Now we can find out uh, h is 20 root 3. So that means this distance x equal to h is 20 root 3, 20 root 3 into root 3. So that is 60. This is 60 meter, this will be 20 meter. Okay, and uh, your doubt question is uh, question number 7. Okay, question number 7, and you have a doubt, look at here. Question number 7. So uh, I hope you saw the your sample paper. It's not that much easy your paper, sample paper. You should thorough your reader because MCQ there is how many question MCQ twenty question right? Yes, sir. Okay, so MCQ uh, to get MCQ you have to thorough your chapter. Okay. So now any of my look at here from a point on the ground the angle of elevation of the bottom and top of a transmission tower. Okay, here. A B uh, A B is what a tower. Then transmission tower is here. C. Okay. From a point on the ground, the angle of elevation of the bottom and top of the transmission tower. This is the transmission tower. B C. From here, this angle. This angle uh, forty five. This angle 60 degree. Okay. Uh, okay. At a uh, transmission tower fixed at the top of 20 meter height. Uh, 20 meter height. This is 20 meter. Okay. The tower is fixed. It may be seen uh, the, the um, mobile tower fixing were in a house uh, above the uh, how, building only. So, like that, transmission tower fixed above the 20 meter height building. The angle of elevation, the top is 60, bottom is 45 degree. A, B, C, D. Okay, tan 45, uh, 20 divided by 80, this is 20. Now you find out tan 60 equal to 20 plus H by 20. Then you can finish. And never mind, you can do it now. Okay. So almost question I explaining now. If you have doubt, no problem, I'll explain it. Okay. So today you have to make sure this one head. Are you getting now? So I didn't understand the 13th one. 
Up to here, I finish all. Yes, sir. Everything clear? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Twelfth order problem, man. From the top of a seven meter high building, angle of elevation of the top. top okay. Suppose which floor are you sitting? What, sir? Which floor are you sitting? Third floor. Third floor. Okay, you are sitting third floor. That means seven meter high building. Angle of elevation of the top of a tower. Your opposite building, how many floor? Six no. floors. Six, six floors. Floor. Okay, first you look at the sixth floor, then look at the ground floor. That's the question. See, uh, from the top of a seven meter high building, look, AB, seven meter. Then you are looking at the top of the uh, 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 table. The, this one is angle of elevation is 60. Then you look at down, that is 45. Okay. A, B, C, D, E. This is 7, this is also 7. Since it is 45 degrees, 7 here, we can find. Is that clear or not? Yes, sir. Okay, now work out this one. Okay, finish this one, then I'll tell you. Um, seventh one. Okay, eighth one, I'll, uh, sorry. Uh, Thirteenth, I'll tell you after that. Okay, you finish this one. So, how many extra work is there? We did already. Okay, so next class you have to do that. So, are we supposed to send this later to you? You finish all the work. Already, already uh, I told you once uh, while doing this chapter, you did or not? Yes, sir. That time, uh, if you do that one, not work out it because you didn't do it. You didn't submit. That's why I'm supposed to do it again now. End of, end of this chapter, 
I told you, work out all the regular questions and submit it. You didn't submit it. So that's why today waste the time. Now this exam is coming. So I got the answer for the 12th one. Okay. So now start the team, the one, same type only. Okay. Okay, sir.
Anyone finish? So doing the 15th one. Okay. So 16th is cancelled, right? Yeah, 16, that um, in between angle, right? 90 minus theta, you have to use it. Okay, now you do that, work out that. Okay, sir. Okay, I know any of my year chapters. Hey, area related to circle we finished, recently finished. Application you are going on now. Take, uh, next two classes, uh, 9th October, we have enough time. Uh, coordinate geometry already finished. But anyway, I'll do the revisions. Till 8th, we do the revisions only. Okay. So done. Hmm. Okay, finish now. Uh, write the question now. Uh, I don't wait for write one question. Okay. Hello. All data questions see now finished. So now we are going for extra question. Okay. Right. The angle of elevation of an aeroplane. The angle of elevation of an aeroplane. I'll send the question better. Okay. Sir, can you explain question 15? No, I already started now. Okay. So already we did check, you can check it. Or oh, next class we'll discuss it. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, now we try this one. Question number 15 is most important question. Make sure that. Oh, everyone have doubt this one, then I'll show here. Okay. Then look at here. Question number 15, look. Question number 15 is the most important question, so I'll explain now. Look, uh, the angle of a straight highway leads the foot of a tower A. Okay, this is the highway B, A, A here. A straight highway leads the foot of the tower Oh, foot of the tower only. Okay. A man standing on the top of a tower observe a car at an angle of elevation is 30 degrees. Okay. A, B, uh, C here. That angle of angle of angle of depression, right? Okay. This angle is 30 degrees. He is continuously watching the car. After six seconds, the car reach here. At an angle of depression is 
60 degree. Okay. If the car moves uniform speed, when this car reaches from D to A? This is the question. Question clear or not? For example, look at here. Suppose uh, you're standing in a tower, Fahel, a tower, okay? Then you viewed one car coming from Abu Alifa at an angle of depression is 30 degree. Then after six seconds, the car reached Mangaf, that time angle of depression is 60 degree. Then what time the car reached to Fahel? This is the question. Now clear or not? Sreyas? Sreyas? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, we can ask, uh, my, my plan is, uh, you know the time taken from B to D. And I calculate the distance covered by the car in six seconds. Then we can find out the speed. Since the speed from B to D and D to A are same, then after the speed is, we got the speed, we can, we can calculate the distance, then speed by distance divided by speed, we get the time. You follow me what I said once again? I assume that this distance is x, this distance is y, the height is h. Okay. I'm going to calculate, listen, we are going to calculate the distance covered by the car in six seconds. That means PD. Okay. Look at here. Tan 30 equal to h by y, h by x, sorry, h by x. 1 by root 3 equal to h by x, x equal to h root 3, call it number 1. Then tan 60 equal to h by y, root 3 y equal to h, y equal to h by root 3. Okay, everyone write up to here. We first write, draw the figure because a lot of calculations there is, okay. Draw figure first. Okay, then write tan 30 equal to h by x, 1 by root 3 equal to h by x, x equal to h root 3, number 1. Tan 60 h by y, root 3 y equal to h, y equal to h by root 3, call it number 2. Then write distance covered by the car, distance covered by the car in 6 seconds equal to x minus y, x minus y, that is h root 3 minus h by root 3. So that is 3h minus h by root 3. 2h by root 3. This is the distance covered by the car in uh, 6 seconds. Okay. Therefore, speed equal to 2h by root 3 divided by 6. 2h by root 3 into 1 by 6 h by 3 root 3. Okay, this is the speed. Okay, right. Speed is h by 3 root 3. Then, after the right, since the speed is uniform, since the speed is uniform, speed of the car from D to A, speed of the car from D to A also h by 3 root 3. h by 3 root 3. Hence, time taken from Time taken from D to A. Time taken from D to A, Y distance divided by H by 3 root 3. Okay, that is Y equal to H by root 3. H by root 3 into 3 root 3 by H. Cancel, cancel. That means 3 seconds. That means from D to A, car will take 3 seconds. Clear, uh, clear now? Yes, sir. Okay. So, next class, 
directly I'll start the extra works. So you have to finish it all the reader now. Okay.